multicoloured parasols are all the rage in Recife. It does sometimes rain in this part of Brazil, but they're mostly used by pasistas, the dancers who perform frevo. The origin of frevo as a dance comes from capoeira, from the old capoeiristas. There was a time when capoeira was outlawed in Recife because it was often associated with violence. Then they began camouflaging some of the steps and frevo was born out of those moves. Ana Miranda manages this frevo school in Greater Recife. It was founded in 1996 with the aim of preserving what's an important aspect of local culture. The school welcomes people of all ages and is open from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Monday to Friday. There are currently 600 students registered, all taking advantage of the free lessons in Frevo. The word Frevo comes from ferver, to boil. In the olden days, people said it was from the pans they used to boil sugar cane. When sugar was put in the pans, it began to bubble up, and that was called frevura. It went from ferver to frever to frevo. Frevo music preceded the dance and saxophones, trumpets, trombones and drums are a must-have for any frevo band. Unsurprisingly, both the music and the dance are a big feature of Recife's carnival celebrations. So, what of the parasol? The parasol first appeared as a big umbrella that protected people from both the rain and the sun. It was also used to damage the musical instruments of rival bands. Initially it was more of a weapon and only later was it adopted by the dancers. It gradually got smaller and now it serves as an instrument of balance as well as beauty. From humble and almost clandestine beginnings, Frevo is now part of the popular culture of Recife. It was created by the people, it's been modified by the people, and the music and the dance are now very much enjoyed by the people. <laughs>